Hey guys, this is Heretic and it's February 2021. In this video, we're going to cover the top 10 things to consider in PvP. All right, number one, always try to bait an attack on you. If someone attacks you, your troops get wounded. They go, if you're in your hive, they go to the Alliance Hospital first, then they'll fill up, you know, they fill that up, then they'll fill up your regular hospital, and then they'll go to the Sanctuary. All of that is better than having to completely retrain your troops. When you attack someone, your losses are real losses and you have to completely retrain them. So you want to try to bait someone into attacking you or your reinforcements, like in this video, where I actually reinforce someone, they go out, they... Um, they get someone mad enough where they make a mistake and they attack and they lose all their troops. All right. Number two, if you must attack, know what you're facing. First, you're going to want to scout them. If they have anti-scout on, you're going to want to do a fake rally. And in the fake rally, you will see um, how many um, are a part of that rally um, for your opponent. Um, so you'll know if they're actually reinforced before you actually send an attack. You can also look at their power, judging by their level, their stronghold level, and their power. You should tell, be able to tell more or less the number of troops are, that the, the person has and whether or not you can actually win the battle. Um, you're going to want to also use, in that case, you'll want to use Life Preserver or something else to, to try to keep your losses down. All right. Number three, try to catch people without a dragon um, or without their dragon idol or dragon blade. Um, you can see that here. You can check them out. Look at their profile. If they don't have a dragon blade on, um, or a dragon idol here, which you can find those here. Um, go to the store. So this is your dragon blade. And this is your dragon idol. All right, when you have the blade or the idol, it will um, basically mimic your dragon um, when your dragon is out. Basically, you'll get your dragon defensive stats when um, when you get attacked and your dragon isn't home. If they don't have those and they send their dragon out, they could go you know, out to farm. They could go out to build a tower. They could go out to garrison or reinforce someone else. Or they could be attacking you with their dragon. You hit them before they get to you. Um, and if they don't have their dragon stats, then you have a really good chance of winning the battle. So always keep your dragon around if you're on defense. All right, number four. Use all your buffs at all times. So your buffs you can find here. City buffs, you're going to want your defense, your attack, um, your march capacity, and your anti-scout. So you want these always applied whenever you're in PvP. In addition, you'll want your talents. Like I mentioned, the Life Preserver, this is 30% uh, wounded conversion, basically. Um, and you'll want your Colossal available for any big attacks. You'll want these two going to, to reduce the number of, of deaths that you have and to increase the number that are a part of your march, which gives you a better chance to actually win the battle. Right. So never forget to buff before fighting. All right, number five is probably the most important. It's right in the middle of the top 10, but it is the, the to me, it's the most important thing. Don't make emotional, angry attacks. I've seen way too many people quit the game over yeeting away all their troops because they got mad at someone or they took a hit and got upset or someone called them a name or whatever it is. Um, before you fight, calm down. 
it, it's always if you're you know really angry, it's better to just shield yourself, walk away from the game, calm down, and then come back. Your emotions will make you lose. And and this is a um, a good lesson if you're fighting someone who is a lot stronger than you in your kingdom. Say that there's uh, someone in your kingdom that's going around and zeroing everyone. It's a lot better to play the long game, not get upset. If you're going to stick around, like if your friends are all on the kingdom and you don't want to just, you know, go to a new kingdom and stick it out, don't be emotional. Let the game come to you. Pick your time. Um, hit their littles. You know, they're going to slip up eventually. You're going to catch them. Um, a lot of times at the beginning of a kingdom, you'll have a big spender that'll go out and just, you know, go to 40 immediately and get the best stats and everything. Six months down the line, if they're not keeping up, they're going to fall behind. You can, Someone's going to catch them. Um, don't be emotional and, you know, just lose over and over and over. It's not going to get you anywhere. All right. Number six, <clears throat> if you're going to be out fighting or if a fight's coming to you, um, have your friends reinforce you. So reinforcements, the higher your your embassy is, the, the bigger number of, of reinforcements that you can actually have in it. So whenever you're going to reinforce someone else, you want to make sure that they have a big, you know, a higher level emb embassy. And the same thing goes for you. The higher level embassy that you have, the more people, the more troops um, can reinforce you. You know, your friends will be able to send more. Taking out, you know, for me, if I take out 790K um, troops with me, that's a big deal. That, that'll that put a real big dent in someone who's actually attacking me. So if I'm sending, you know, if I have my Dragon Idol, they're watching me and I'm attacking and they're trying to judge how many troops I actually have. Um, you know, this is this is early kingdom, right? So I have a 174k power, and I have four uh, 636k troops. If I send a march out, my marches are over 200 and something k. Someone may gamble and say, you know, I can hit this guy and win. Maybe take away his, his relic whenever he is, um, you know, whenever he's out attacking or he's doing something. But if I'm reinforced they hit me, they're going to have to knock out my friends and me um, before they win. So you can see that 790k, if I have 790k reinforcements, that's more than the total number of troops I actually even have. Really nice if you go out to fight to have your friends go ahead and reinforce you. All right, um, number seven. Um, whenever you look at a battle report, the only thing that really matters I'll show you some here. The only thing that really matters is the number of losses. So here you can see, and these people put the fake uh, pictures everywhere, but you can see I reinforced this um, Lena, um, and you know she's out, and you know this this person attacked her, and they have they lost eighty four thousand troops that means that they're going to have to retrain all those troops this is not wounded these are not in the hospital 6300 are in the hospital the rest of them are gone from that march you'll see other ones here here's an attack i attack someone he didn't have his dragon at home not nah, no bueno there he lost 111,000 troops i lost 4500 Right? That's the only thing that matters here as far as victory and defeat. There's other times where I've lost, but really I won because they lost, <laughs> completely lost a lot more troops than I did. So keep that in mind. Don't just go by this victory or defeat. You know, you could win a battle, but your losses, your real losses are a lot more than theirs. That's that's really not a win in my book. All right, number eight, wounded conversion. So wounded conversion is a very critical skill to have. Um, you're gonna want to train it here in your dragon skills. Over here, this guy. You want to get this as high as you can. You're gonna want to train it in your university. All right. Over here you 
going to want to get it and let me find it. Wounded conversion here. And you, know, you get more and more as you go. You're going to uh, you're going to want to um, use it on your life preserver. And so that's here. This talent actually gives you 30% more. So whatever you've researched, whatever you have, you've trained as a dragon skill, you add that together with the 30% and that's your actual um, life uh, wounded conversion. And you can see it here in this report because I did have it applied. So you look down and this is the beginning of the game. So don't, don't look at me, but 53% wounded conversion. And so what, what happens with wounded conversion is whenever I attacked, Normally, I would have a 100% troop loss of, of my losses, of the troops that, that lost the battle. They wouldn't be wounded. They wouldn't go to the hospital. They would go, they would be dead completely, and I'd have to retrain them. But 53% of those losses, because I have wounded conversion, actually go to my hospital so that I can, I can uh, just heal them and get them back. And that's what you want, right? So wounded conversion is really important. Um, you can also, if you're in a rally, there's actually gear that you can get that does have wounded conversion on it. Um, when we're on a rally, on a mega rally, it's important, it has to be a mega rally. In a mega rally, you're taking your rally leader's stats. Everybody else in the rally should wear wounded conversion, uh, I mean, wounded ver conversion gear um, so that they can minimize the amount of losses that they have. Not the rally leader, but everybody else. All right, uh, number nine. Know your troops and the best formation for you on your stats. Look at your stats. You want to give yourself the best chance. Know your troops and know your enemies. Know your enemies' skills. I mean, all of this information is super important. That's why you see people asking for battle reports on people before they actually go out and fight because they wanna know, do I have a chance to beat them? And what is their weakness, All right? If they have um, really high, you know, uh, bowman attack, but their infantry defense is really low, you know that you can probably pancake their defense and, and wipe them out. So knowing your troops, what your strengths are, like if you have super, for whatever reason, you have super high cavalry attack, you're, your um your march should include more cav right um so know what you what what your strengths are um and know how your troops actually function and i have another video out there that goes through each of the troop tier levels and their bonuses that they get so you can actually look at what your enemy has and beat them um, by countering their troop types and their strengths and weaknesses um, number 10, speed kills. Speed is a very addictive drug, probably the most addictive thing in King of Babylon. You will burn through tons of gold, speeding out to reinforce someone, speeding out to hit someone. Knowing when to use speed and when not to use um, march speed um, bonuses um, it is critical right because you're going to run out of gold real fast if you just use it all the time so you have to know because a lot of times you go out and attack and if you've ever attacked someone in king of avalon that march is super slow no matter how much you've trained um, that march speed is really slow so and and if your enemy is awake they're going to shield they're going to move or they're going to counter you so you have to know when to use um, speed. A lot of times I'll know what who I'm facing. I have a pretty good guess that I'm gonna win. I'll buff all the way across with Light Preserver and everything before I even teleport. I'll teleport sometimes a little bit outside of their sight so that they don't see me coming and immediately shield or, or jump away or send their troops away. Um, I'll you know, teleport a little bit outside of the screen for them, and then I will just um, send my march out and immediately just speed all the way to them and knock them out. 
Um, it's something that I do, especially in RAID. Um, all right, so that's the top 10. I really hope that this helps. I'm going to do more of these videos, um, more on PvP and PvP tactics and PvP gameplay um, as we go through little things that, that I do, win or lose. You know, when I make mistakes, I'm happy to show it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Um, if you do, you know, please click the like button. Click the little bell to get notifications whenever I do have a new video. Um, subscribe and tell your friends. All right, take care.